Hello and welcome back to KC Boomer Tech, where we're talking about everything tech and fun stuff related to boomers and much more. Listen, everybody's been stuck home now with this quarantine and been faced with having to go working from home or live streaming or uh, doing homework, homework from home. So I was getting ready to do a video on the availability of different products. So that's where we're going to head to. And today I'm going to start with various different webcams and ways to hook up uh, a camera to your computer to be able to live stream or work from home. So let's get started. So let's get into different types of cameras so you can do so your live streaming. Now, on the one you're looking at now, I'm recording from a Razer. It's a Razer as a uh, camera, a webcam, and I'll get into the pictures in a second. Um, that is uh, giving you a nice widescreen, good color selection. Um, and it has built into it, and I'm going to let you see real quick. It has a, ba a light built into it, a ring light, which I can increase in intensity. And as you can see, it will fill in the gaps of what I'm doing. Turn that off. Now let's do a comparison to um, over here on the on the left hand side. You have a Microsoft 3000 webcam compared to the Razer webcam. And as you can see, the image is square and limited, uh, and the quality could be considered a little less. All right. Whereas the qu quality from a better webcam is different. The uh, Microsoft webcam cost me $29. The Razer cost me $89. And uh, so those are two choices that you can do. I'll get into the specs in a second. Let me go back here. Another one <coughs> by Microsoft, and I'm not picking any particular brand is the uh, LifeCam Studio 1. Um, that you would use more for a conference call when you have a couple of people together and you want to be able to um, do a wide shot. Does a great job. Um, so those are three. Let me go into some of the other things and show you. Some so of when you look in here at the Razer Keto webcam, as you can see, it's multiple adjustable. You can see it has a ring light built into you. But the main thing is that if you're going to be doing any high quality video like I'm doing here, you're going to need something that can do high frames per second. The higher the frames per second, the better the image quality. Also, it's 1080p. And again, it has a built in ring light, which can fill and backfill any light problems you're having. So that would lead us to the next web different ones that are available out there. Let me go over here and look at the other camera you were looking at, and that is the Microsoft Live Cam th HQ3000, uh, which has now been replaced by the 5000, um, which is $89 comparison. The um, difference you can see is the picture. One is gives you a square picture. One gives you a wide picture. Both have built-in microphones. The um, Microsoft Live Cam is a fixed focus, so if you go out of a certain range, it's going to be out of focus. Where, on the other hand, the Razer is an autofocus, light adjusting camera. So, depending upon your needs, these are some of the considerations you can use when you're using a webcam. Which let me get into some now, other. One things. of the things that all these web cameras have in common is they have to be mounted in some way. Um, the Microsoft can be put on the back of a uh, of your uh, monitor. The Razer has to be mounted to a tripod. Uh, but I wanted to show you some little trick that I use. Now you can see both of them. I have this on a tripod, and I ha and since it doesn't have a screw mount on it, I use a rubber band, okay, to hold it in place, which allows me because it's on a flexible tripod allows me to move it back and forth to do whatever 
positioning I need with it at the same time because it's on a rubber band I can move it back and forth I can twist it whereas <clears throat> you can see the razor okay is mounted again on a tripod um, it has the circular motion to be able to adjust the uh, intensity of the light which I have off right now and I can also adjust it up down inside out and it has a higher resolution a higher quality so these are the things you need to be considering when you're buying a webcam unless you just want to just record it because it's for, um, you don't really care about the quality I do because of my live stream so let me get into another subject now that's what in quality but webcam can only take you in a certain level of quality and that's a problem the next level up would be maybe you want to use your DSL camera or a video camera um, but you know the problem is that it outputs to HDMI and how do you connect that to the computer and you can use a device called a cam link 4k which I do and I have a whole video out on about the, on how this connects so what you'll need to make sure that your video camera has in the back it needs to have an HD HDMI cable output and the other thing you need to be able to make sure it does okay is it needs to be able to have um, clean HDMI and what do I mean by that if I take my video camera and I don't know whether you can see this clearly I'll try but in the back here you have your icons and that's going to be recorded with your video what you can do is a lot of these modes have a button like here it has a display button and you can press it and it'll turn off that mode so now you can output from the HDMI through a cable into the cam link into your computer and you can have a high quality output from a video camera or the same thing with your Canon like my Canon camera you can hook it up connect a cable now, when you're using one of these, there's one thing you want to remember, and that is that when you're using a DSL camera, you of course want to be able to turn off the ability of, so that you get a clean HDMI signal. And the other thing is you want to turn off power save. Uh, I was doing a shoot using one of these, and I had the mistake. I forgot to turn it off. And while we were doing the shoot, the camera turned off, and uh, we had to reshoot the whole thing. Cause I didn't catch that it happened so kind of be careful about that those are some some quick ideas uh, unfortunately like what's happening right now a lot of these stores even Amazon is out of webcams so but they do still have the 4k still available so if you happen to have a DSL camera and you want to be able to do some home shoots from home uh, check to see that you're uh, camera is compatible with the cam link make sure that you um, have a way of connecting it so that when with the cam link you want to make sure you have the right HDMI cable to your unit and you'll be able to do some live shoots uh, we use that particular camera that I showed you that's an upgraded one that I use um, uh, when we do church video uh, which is a great great opportunity or great way of doing things because the quality is excellent um, you can you can automatically through the cambling uh, change the exposure you can change the zoom a lot of things the cam through the cambling you can control so I hope this has been helpful for you I know everybody's stuck home right now and there are ways to do things and, um, and like I said the uh, let me just do one thing because I d realized that it didn't work when I did it is when I was doing the recording with you guys um, I wanted you to see the uh, <clears throat> the razor camera and you can see it here um, I have it mounted on a tripod and that's one of the things I like about putting webcams on in, in a flexible tripod um, and same thing you could do it you know if you're mounting your DSL camera or your thing is that because you can move it around you can flex it you can move it put different positions 
so that you can record whatever situation that you're trying to record. Let me go back here. So listen, thanks for watching. I hope this has been useful for you. If you have any questions, put it in the comments section. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, you have a wonderful day and stay safe. <laughs>